This is another problem water series presented by H2O Mobile titled Water Softening Resin. What is it? How is it made? And how does it work? What you're looking at is the resin we provide our customers. Uh, this resin is a high quality resin patterned after a U.S. manufacturer's patent and expired in the 1980s. A representation of what the actual bead would look like is sort of like this. As you can see, we have a divental benzene cross-linking connected by the polystyrene chain. The divental benzene is where the charge is held, and that's where the work is done on the resin bead. Another way of looking at this would be, as this representation shows, the outside of the resin bead, which is dotted or dashed, demonstrating that water can go through that. And then inside you have the chemical network, which is the styrene, which holds the divental benzene groups that actually have the charge that hold the cation to that charge. The charges are anionic, in other words, negative. And the positive charges, which are the sodium, calcium, magnesium, uh, and other cations, are the yellow with the plus. Now, softener resin only removes the calcium and magnesium and iron and other heavy metals does remove sodium. That's why you can regenerate with sodium. As you see here in service, we have the hardest being removed by the resin bead and then the bead becomes exhausted. And then it's regenerated by salt being passed over the resin bed itself. As you can see the exhausted resin, the salt, the sodium chloride passes over the resin. The calcium chloride becomes waste and you have a fresher regenerated resin bed. Here's a uh, bed in service where you see calcium coming into the bed and being replaced by the sodium, the sodium being flushed off the bed to uh, your service line. Sodium is highly soluble and a monovalent ion and therefore does not harm your piping or your water heater and doesn't interfere with the soap when you do laundry or take a bath. We load our mobile soft water units with high quality resin. This particular resin is an NSF61 certified resin, which means it can be used in drinking water applications. We are loading a one cubic foot tank here. The tank will be used by our customers, probably in a tiny home or a large RV. A water softener will remove iron just as it does calcium magnesium, by ion exchange. However, the iron is soluble before it's removed and it becomes insoluble on the resin due to oxidation. You have to reverse the oxidation by using a chemical. The chemical we sell is Pearl Rust Out. You simply pour that chemical into the water softener before you add the salt, as you can see it illustrated here. Then you pour the salt in on top of it and follow your normal regeneration procedures. The resin will last quite a while even with the iron fouling and it being reversed off the resin. It does impact on some of the life, but it's not significant. Thank you for watching this video, and we trust you will look at our products. And if you have any further questions, please give us a call at the number you see on the screen or write us at info at purehts.com. Again, thank you, and be safe as you travel.